We're always doing things where we need to challenge ourselves. Going back to university, I, I've had so many questions in this area that I'm studying now, medical science, that I want to find the answers to. I have two young children. Uh, one is two, the older one is six. He just started school the same year as mommy did. He was very excited that mommy went to big school when he went to big school at the same time. I have a very supportive husband who's very hands-on at home, which helps with the decision we've made because we made it together. If you've been at work, if you've had deadlines, if you've had performance management reviews, if, if you've dealt with their school commitments, you've done all that. You just need to now fit it in your life too. One of the things I had to think was, how am I going to cope with the young guns? They know how to study. Will I remember how to do that? Because it's been 15 years since I've done any studies. Turns out I had nothing to worry about because there are other skills that I had developed over those years that support my learning. I had no problem talking to the lecturers and tutors and the university staff about my requirements. I also had the confidence to ask questions. Building professional networks. This is something that if you've been in work life, you would have naturally built the talent already. Essentially, you need to start building the same network at the university. And I think the maturity brings that skill. Once you graduate, you've already built a base. Time management skills are essential. I plan the whole semester ahead when I get the learning guides and I take the important dates and put them down on one spreadsheet. Being able to look, say, two or three weeks or even the whole semester ahead and knowing how you're going to divide your time. You can plan your life away, but if you don't commit to the plan, that's always the time. The important thing there too is that don't whip yourself because if you make a very detailed plan, it's more likely that you can't stick to it perfectly. So I think 80% done, that's good. If it's something that I really don't want to do, can I do it for 15 minutes? And if after 15 minutes I still hate it with the passion, then I can stop. And I guarantee you, once you get started, you, do, you finish the task. If something takes you two minutes or less to do, do it straight away, and it's out of the way. Remember the deadlines and I work towards them. And in the meanwhile, fit all our family commitments around it. I took both my kids to the campus where I study mainly. We do schoolwork together. We sit down on the table, he does his writing practice while I do whatever I need to do. Involve them, show them your big school because they'll be excited to see it. This is the most important thing after them in my life and I want them to experience it with me. I want them to know why I'm so happy and passionate about what I do and it makes them happy too. You have nothing to worry about, just trust yourself. You've jumped into other things so many times before and because I'm such a slow, careful planner, you already know you've planned this to the nth detail. Just take the leap.